and down the line, just, you know, tell me how it feels to not only get a win, but kind of win the way you guys want to win, you know, with some physical play and, and controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, and just tell me the feeling you had off, coming off the field. I mean, it, it feels great just because, you know, we work, we've been working really hard in practice. Um, and we see it come to light, you know, kind of in practice, and we know what we're capable of. So for us to go out there today and kind of show what we've been working towards and how hard we have been working, uh, it felt really good to get off the field with a win, and especially a win in that matter. Yeah, it felt really good. Uh, big boost for the team. And just from here on out, just one more. Just one more. We want to keep doing more and keep getting better. Keep executing. Uh, I mean, yeah, like these guys said, I mean, it definitely felt good. It felt good to be out there and really felt like we really executed our game plan as an offense this week. Um, obviously, a lot better than the previous two weeks. Um, we still left a lot out there, we feel like. Um, so, definitely some room for improvement, but it's definitely come nice coming in here after a W than after what we had the last two weeks. So, you're saying we don't have to harp on the running game this week. You guys were pretty good. How good it, first of all, how good did it feel to break that, that long one? Uh, but even apart from that, you guys were pretty consistent running the ball today. Uh, uh, just tell me the feeling you have about you know an improved effort in that. In that I, I'd say that's that's what it takes. You know we need to establish the run and uh, opens up everything for for everybody. So uh, as a team, you know getting getting the run going is just is just great and being able to make plays for them and doing everything uh, in my ability for for the team is just it's great. So I know it's a big boost for the line and uh, I just it was a great job overall for everybody. Anthony, your running became part of this too, especially on the early series where you kept some drives alive by, you know, getting out of pressure a couple times. Um, you know, just tell me about just moving the six today. You guys were able to consistently do that in a way that, you know, it was probably the, in, in that sense, it was probably the best game of the season. Would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree. I think it comes down to execution. Um, you know, we executed it, whether it was in the pass game or the run game. Um, you know, we weren't, we didn't really put ourselves in third and long situations today. We're all, you know, third manageable, which really opens up the entire playbook for us um, to call and run stuff that we, as an offense, are comfortable with. Um, so I think that we put ourselves in a good situation to extend drives and those things. Zach, uh, I just felt, you know, I guess this could be filed under consistency too, but I just felt like the offensive flow was, you know, the, the run-pass balance was, was set right. You guys ran a few trick, a couple of flea flickers, trick plays. Um, you know, just tell when you're in a rhythm, how does that feel on the field? Because it felt like you guys had that rhythm that you want to have today. Yeah, you can really feel the momentum when you get into a flow like that going. And that's really just like from play calling on down to players. You know, uh, if you stay ahead of sticks, you know, you get in the second five, you stay out of those second and long, third and long situations. Um, you know, we can really get the play calls going into what we have in our game plan really out there and just keep it flowing, flowing and flowing like uh, it did today. Um, so yeah, that's kind of kind of a big thing, and we didn't really shoot ourselves in the foot, kind of like Andy said, uh, stayed ahead of the sticks, and that's kind of I think why you saw that flow on offense today. Probably the only thing Coach Mallory brought it up. Probably the only issue might have been not getting in the end zone late when they were coming back. I mean, but um, you know, is that kind of? I'm not saying that's a good thing, but if that's the biggest thing to complain about in a, in a win, you know, does that show that you guys, you know, made a step in improvement that you wanted to make this week? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think we made a step uh, and took a step in the right direction um, and improved as an offense. Uh, but, you know, it started on uh, Monday, you know, when we started watching the film and then Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday with our work days and practice. Um, it started then. Um, so, you know, we just got to keep that approach and, and keep going. For any three of you guys, Western has come back. They came back a little bit today. I guess they got it down to 10 at one point. But does that, the fact that they've done that in the previous three games, does that kind of keep your antenna up, you know, not to let down because they've proven that they can wipe out leads? Um, is that is that in your heads at all when you're on the field or you just go off and play? You know, we definitely knew that they had come back in some recent games. We needed to keep our uh, foot on the pedal the entire game. But first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth, no matter how big the lead is, just, you know, we were going to play to our standard. Um, and we don't care how much we're, we're up by, we're going to get the ball and we want to go and score. So it really didn't affect anything we were trying to do. It wasn't like we were trying to keep the ball away from them. Um, so, but, you know, we just, we wanted to go out and score regardless uh, of what they've done in the past weeks. For you two guys, knowing Coach Mallory, I know that the week of prep probably isn't going to change much, but how much does it help going into a conference week, building on something positive instead of, you know, trying to get over something negative like the last two weeks ago? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, obviously it's good and like the, I guess, that aura around the team is a lot better than uh, what it is after a loss, but 
also you gotta make sure you don't come complacent after a win. Um, you know, the, that week of preparation has to be the exact same no matter win or loss. Um, it has to be to that standard that we felt like we had this week, so we just have to keep that going. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's it's definitely a lot nicer after a win. You know, everybody's in good spirits, and you know, hopefully we just continue that throughout the weeks. Yeah, I'd say it doesn't get any easier, so just gotta uh, keep preparing for every team uh, that we play. You know, just because Western had a couple of games uh, when they come back, that's every team in this conference. Uh, nobody's gonna stop when they're down, and so that's what that's what uh, we gotta do here uh, as this team. Just keep keep the foot on the, on the pedal. All right, guys, that's all I got. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well spoken. Uh, you all right. Um, I mean, from a defensive point of view, you know, Kurt Mall uh, Coach Mallory, uh, you know, challenged the team to be more physical this week I mean, uh, in every phase. How did you guys take that to heart defensively? Because certainly it looks like you did uh, watching the best play. Uh, we all started uh, in the early week of preparation, so. I kind of took that to heart and uh, came out Tuesday. It was a work day, physical practice. Came out there and practiced hard. It was a, it was a physical practice with the offense. Um, so they came out hard as well. And Wednesday was another physical practice as well. Um, so I'd say early in the week in preparation, um, we practiced real physical and uh, tried to stay up to that standard. And it, it paid off today. I think you ended up with three and a half sacks. That's what you had at halftime. Uh, just tell me about, you know, just being active, getting to the quarterback, uh, how you were able to, to beat your man on the outside and, and you know, be a, be a force in terms of uh, stuffing them, uh, you know, in the, in the long, yard, down and distance situations. Uh, making those plays is really just the entire defense. Coverage in the back end was there as well. Uh, when I get a one-on-one, -on -one, you have to win it. You know, we're always big on winning your one-on-ones, um, as well as um, the scheme that's there sets up for for uh, for myself um, or whoever you know whoever's turn to make the make the play and execute. So um, it happened to just be an entire team effort. Um, my D line boys up there, uh, the people in the back end as well, coveraging long enough for me to get there, and uh, everybody else taking up blocks and then just winning one on ones. The sheet says 18 yards rushing against upstairs. We had it at 28. Regardless, that's an outstanding effort. The sacks played a role in that, of course, but. Uh, but even taking the sacks out, uh, they didn't run the ball very anywhere near as effectively as teams have been. Uh, what do you think the key was to that? Uh, probably being physical and uh, taking that to heart. Coach Malley saying this needs to be a physical week. You know, um, just starting off Tuesday and our week of preparation. You know, physical and coming out hard and uh, taking that to heart. Um, I would say it was key, and then carrying that on, and then just coming out Saturday on game day and executing and playing all together as well. What's your sense on the field? You know Western is a comeback team. They've done it the last three weeks. Pretty spectacular relief in almost all those cases. They did get it down to 10, but uh, do you do you have the sense of that on the field that you know we need to do our jobs and you know not let them get into too much of a rhythm, knowing what they can do when they have rhythm? Yeah, we knew they were a second half team, but we just try to go out there and do our job. You know, everybody has a job, just do it and execute when the play comes to you. Um, but but we, we, we had that in the back of our heads, but we just try to um, play at our level, play at our intensity, and just have them try to try to keep up with us. A couple of turnovers in there too, which certainly helped uh, in the second half. Uh, that's something else that, that hasn't been quite as there this year, the opportunism. You got a little bit of that today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just players, you know, good players going out there making plays, and just a play calling, I would say, and everybody doing their job. I would say just, you know, the play presents itself, you make it. Uh, say you heard me ask the offensive players, uh, you know, going in a week of preparation on the back of a win, you know, what does that mean? Uh, I know the preparation itself won't change, but uh, how does it change the mindset of everybody on the defense, especially after you guys uh, performed, you know, as, as well as it did today? It's it's good, you know, everybody's happy, and but I just don't, like the offensive players say, I don't want to be complacent. And I don't want that. I don't want anything to change. I want us to practice just as hard as we did last week on Tuesday. We were physical. Wednesday, physical as well. You know, have a great week of preparation so we can come back and execute again on Saturday. Thanks, Sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Seth. You missed the record by a half a sack. <laughs> the record was four. I knew.